Hey, what's up, you guys? What do you take up here? What do you take up here? Being my icon, Catherine Isabel, Daniel Lorenzo. Wait, what did you say? Daniel Lorenzo. Okay. 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 Guys, better subscribe and watch my friend on his YouTube channel. He is kicking ass. Hey, what's up you guys? Bloody Jacob here to bring you my weekly review of Riverdale on the CW, which is episode 2 of season 3 called Chapter 37, Fortune and Men's Eyes. So yeah, on, on point with Riverdale as always, as much as I can be with my reviews. Work Wednesday, but Riverdale is very much a priority for me the next day when I'm off. And it was today, I'm prioritizing it over Arrow, it's even kind of prioritized over Supernatural right now. And that's just because I just thoroughly enjoy watching Riverdale every week, you know, I, I really enjoy the uh, fandom, for the most part. <laughs> um, you know, the people that work on it, you know, meeting Madeline Patch and everything, I love Camila Mendez, Ski Ulrich, everything. <laughs> and yeah, teen drama, but the show goes above it with mystery and, you know, sort of this cool gloominess throughout the whole show. I feel like I just spend the first couple minutes just praising Riverdale in general every week, but... <laughs> um, in this week's episode, I, I liked. Um, perhaps a little better than the premiere, I'm not sure. Um, or it's at least on par, and uh, yeah, the 22 episode order again is going to be interesting. Um, but as far as how the season feels so far, I think it might be a little bit more tightly wound and a little bit more interesting than Season 2. And I enjoyed Season 2, despite it feeling padded out thanks to all the damn breaks. <laughs> um, but yeah, this episode is good, you know, we got to see more of this uh, cult-like thing. You know, of course, uh, Alice and Polly, I just want Polly to be killed off. <laughs> um, they just tell Betty that she is hallucinating, you know, from all the stress. And, you know, obviously the babies are still alive. Um, but I think there's definitely something they're tied to that they're not letting Betty in on. So I think there's definitely some truth, at least to some extent, what Betty saw. Um, and what they find with the uh, gargoyle in the woods. I, I don't think that's fully real. Um, now if they're actually still doing that crossover with uh, Sabrina, the teenage witch, then I'd say maybe. But they're not, so I feel like it'll be like some kind of manifestation or someone with a really, uh, you know, elaborate setup or costume or something. Um, but still, it's good. I think there could still be some, like, uh, cult elements that I could get away with as well that could actually be real within the world of the show. Um, so that's pretty good. And I like the sort of feeling, like, the it-type feeling we get from all the parents coming around and recognizing this force that could now be out there again that they promised never to speak about again. You know, even FP, even Hiram shows up to talk about it. Um, so that's really interesting. It kind of plays into the uh, flashback episode we'll be seeing this season, so I enjoyed that. Um, and I'm a big fan of Camille Mendez, Veronica, my favorite character on the show, uh, FP after that, then Cheryl, and then I'm at, probably Jughead after that. Um, but yeah, you know, so I enjoyed her, uh, you know, teen with a jailhouse rock outside the cell while they were playing the football game after Archie actually talked the guys to try a different way, not just shipping each other. Um, but it looks like we'll be getting more fight sequences with Archie in prison next week. Good seeing the actor who played Wells Jaha in the first season of The 100 as a Wild Dog. But apparently he has been killed or dealt with off screen. Um, it'd be good to see him back because he's a, he's a good actor for his show. Um, I always want to see him in a little bit more, so hopefully. Um, but yeah, this is just a good episode, you know, again, just kind of keeping up with my interest in it. Um, and overall, if I had to rate this episode of Riverdale, I'm giving it probably, I don't know, probably like a 8.6, 8 .7, 0.8 out of 10, somewhere around there. Uh, I just really enjoy it. It's easy for me to watch. Um, but yeah, I do have to make this video a bit short, going to see, uh, 
you know preview night showing of uh, Halloween at my local theater packed um, so I kind of got rushed to get around and shower and everything uh, to get with a friend um, but yeah let me guys thought about this one for sure follow me on Facebook Twitter Instagram like subscribe I'll catch you guys next time peace